Hey guys, welcome back to episode six of Birth of an Ultra Tech. Ray, it's kind of depressing. This is going to be our last of the episodes that we're doing here. I know. I've really enjoyed this series. I hope you guys have. I think we're going to cover uh, basically after the sharpening and all that, it goes into uh, QC, mm -hmm. inventory, and then ultimately shipping out. So that's it. Let's get to it. They come through the sharpening process. All of our knives come to Zach here at QC. Zach, how many years have you been working for Mike Tech? I've been with Mike Tech about five and a half years now, Jason. So what exactly do you do when the knives reach you? When they get to us, we get them ready for cleaning, get them cleaned, get them QC'd, make sure there's no blemishes in any of the coatings, any of the finishes, make sure they're good and sharp, test fire them minimum 10 to 15 times a piece. Gotcha. Every knife is inspected, and we make sure they're good for the customer. So before these go out, you actually test fire them again another 10, 15 times Correct. before they actually go to the end user. Yeah. Good deal. So after the QC process, everything comes into this room. This is inventory control. And I'm here with Jess. Jess, what are you doing in this room right now? Oh, I handle domestic sales. Um, so like Ray said, once knives go through quality control, they come into the inventory room, which then we are given the available inventory that we send to dealers. Uh, once we receive the orders back from our dealers, inventory is pulled and prepared for shipment. So today is Wednesday. So by Friday, this room will be completely empty, right? pretty much empty um, and prepared again for dealers to receive their orders. And that process is every week? Every week. All right. Well, Jess, I do appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. All right, guys. Once the knives leave the inventory control room, they come into the shipping department area. We have John here, who is our shipping coordinator. John, how many years have you worked with Mike Tech? I've been with the company for about five years now. About five years. I know you've been here about well, a little bit longer than I have, a matter of fact. So we've been um, kind of family members here for a while. Yes, sir. What are some of your responsibilities that you have here? I uh, I go through pull and package all the orders. Uh, we sort out all the invoicing, and then at the end of the day, we make sure that everything gets shipped out to the right people. Good deal, good deal. So all the orders that Jess and them take from the dealers, you make sure they get boxed up, shipped out to the proper location. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, John. And hey, no thanks problem, for brother. Part of the family. <laughs> I love you. All right, guys, so that closes us out for episode six of Birth of an Ultra Tech. Glad we got to take you along on this journey, kind of behind the scenes, meet some of our family members here that make all this happen. Yeah, and you guys only saw a small portion of the people that actually work for Microtech. Very uh, we're over 100 and something employees now. Uh, you guys didn't get to see administration or anything like that, but we hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. If you have not gotten over to the Microtech Knives YouTube channel, please check it out and check us out on Facebook and IG as well. Have a great week. Thank you.